my name is Ikoya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Socks, and I'm here today to do a review of this Outre Color Bomb Cassidy wig. But before we get into that, there's a few things you know I have to ask you to do. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video. We come to you every Monday and Friday with wig reviews, hair tips, hair tutorials, product reviews, wig updates, and it is free. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Silky Sacks family. Why not? Make us a part of your quarantivities. And if you're watching over on Facebook, we love you over on the FB too. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share. And then on both platforms, let's have a conversation. Let me know what are you thinking of Miss Cassidy. And while we are on lockdown, we're doing a lot of protective styling and hopefully doing a lot of self-care and taking care of our hair as well. We at Silky Socks have been put together a PDF called Great Oils for Your Edges. We are giving you a list of five oils that you can use right now to help get those edges strengthened, keep them growing, keep them protected when you're doing these protective styles so that when you do come out of quarantine, you can slay. The link to the download will be in the description box, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. And here at Silky Sucks, I love to send a shout out to all of my silky chicks. That is what I call my subs. And today's shout out is going to none other than Rajira's mom. Rajira's mom is not a YouTuber, but she is a tremendous supporter of us here in the wig community. She is always commenting on my videos, on my lives, running playlists. And so I just want you to know that we truly, truly appreciate you, Rajira's mom, and thank you so much for always watching and letting me know that you did. I appreciate you more than you ever know. So now, without further ado, let's talk about Cassidy. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know what you're thinking, I know. Ikoya, no you ain't on here with another blonde wig. Yes! Yes, so I'm asking you to just come along with me, okay? Just come along with me on this blonde roller coaster, okay? Because Outre has released the blonde collection. They drop in these units, they're beautiful. And so, yes, I'm going to try them, okay? I'm going to try them. So, they do have other colors, but I'm really encouraging you if you're scared of blonde, now is the time to stop. Check out these wigs. Check out this collection. There is a color for you, okay? Come on out your shell. Come on out of quarantine with it. Now, let's get into this stock card. So here is Cassidy. Like I said, she is a part of the Color Blonde collection that, um, the, excuse me, the Blonde collection that Outre is doing right now. You guys, get into these different blondes. Get into these different blondes. I am rocking Cassidy in the cream uh, blonde. I want to try every every blonde I have, okay? To see which one I like the best. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Cassidy is a bob. She does have baby hairs, but I didn't use them. You know, I'm not a big baby hair fan. She is heat friendly. She also is HD transparent lace, you guys, which, you know, that has been a little bit of issue around here um, with these wigs. But pleasantly Outre uh, got it right with this one. I did not have any issues blending my lace. However, the lace was not that far from my skin tone. So just be aware of that. Um, you may have to end up blending the lace. I though um, did not and I was happy about that. Um, she has the darker roots and she goes into um, almost a 613. I wouldn't say quite 613, but you know, a, a lighter color blonde for sure. So I love the way that they did the color blend. It's not really harsh. I'll try. I'm telling you, whoever is in the color department with these wigs, go on and give them a raise. Okay. If you are watching this and you work in Outre's color department and you putting these color together on these wigs, tell them Equoia said give you a raise. Go on and get your raise. Go on and get your money because you put your work in. You put your work in. Your effort is felt and seen. Okay. Now, without further ado, y'all, because I'll just talk about it forever and ever go ahead and and watch the video and see what we did and and, and see how i'm really feeling about miss cassidy so here cassidy is you guys know i'm excited so here she is out of the pack not getting a lot of shedding tangling but i can already see the frizzies which is fine because that is typical for blonde 
I see it has that left part for the lefties. And then this one has a black cap and I'm thinking probably because of the darker roots. Two combs on the side here, there's the part. And then it's open cap, which is nice for the warmer weather that we're gonna be experiencing. One comb in the back and then the adjustable straps. So, I'm sorry she's a center part, but you probably can shift her, we'll find out. She is big hip friendly. I'm able to get my hair in and the cap is coming all the way down and I don't think my sides are coming out, let's see. Nope, the lace is going from ear to ear. She is a middle part and I wanted to try a different color than I had tried before. So here she is in the front. This is Cassidy on the right. This is Cassidy on the left. And this is Cassidy in the back. So, you know, I love some blonde. I'm loving the color. The color looks good. The texture is, um, it's more of a, of a silky yakky. It's not super silky, but it's not super yakky. I actually think it's a perfect combination. So if you like yakky hair, I think you'll still like this. And if you like silky hair, I think you will still like this. So let's go ahead and cut off the lace and come uh, style her and come back and we'll get my final thought. Altre has done it again, y'all. Altre has done it again. Cassidy is a throw on and go, honey. Whew. I am so here for this blonde collection. Let's talk about it. So the first thing that I did is I went in with my mousse and went ahead and just rubbed the mousse all throughout it. If you watch my channel, you know I wear a lot of color, a lot of blondes. I highly recommend that the first thing you do before you style it is put some mousse in there. That helps to take down all the frays and the frizzes and just helps the hair to relax, especially if it's synthetic and to come together. Then I went ahead and brushed the wig out. I did experience some shedding. However, it was not a lot. Now, with this wig being HD lace, I thought I was going to have to go in and tint the lace, but I just put it on first to see, and I was happy, you guys, that I did not have to tint the lace. The lace laid very nicely. Now, if you are of a darker skin, you may have to go in and tint the lace, but I repeat, I did not have to go in and tint or do anything to the lace. Um, then I went in with my powder and just opened up the part more and that was it as far as lace goes. And then it does have baby hairs, but I'm not a big baby hair fan. So I just went ahead with my wax stick, rubbed the baby hairs and rubbed the top and then put some heat in there with my hot comb went ahead and just rubbed the end of it on there to help lay those hairs down. And then I combed through it to help the baby hairs and everything lay down. You guys, this wig for the price, for the color and for the look, it's worth it. It is worth it. I cannot tell you how much it is worth it. If you like this look, if you like a nice classy bob, if you want to try a blonde or even a natural color, but I really, really highly recommend you try a blonde because there's so many, I say this is it. It's beginner friendly. The quality is there. I'll try y'all just, they like, no. We are going to be felt in 2020. You gonna feel outre in 2020. And, and, and I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Thank you, outre. So of course, when I take this wig off, it's not going back into the plastic bag it came out of. No, 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 because a sister is gonna rock this for many, many months. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it for a couple years, okay? So it's going inside my luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a luxurious silk line bag that I created in order to not just store your wigs, but to help give them longevity. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide and helps the hair to retain moisture, it cuts down on the tangling and matting and shed 
wedding. So a link to Silky Sacks will be down in the description box below if you want to check it out. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Remember, better care is better wear. See you on Monday.